The Barbados Cricket Association's Club School of the Month series continues with the University of the West Indies Cricket Club. We journey to the men on the hill. We are very excited. Join us. This is we. Good morning. We are at the Three W's Oval, University of the West Indies in the parish of St. Michael. My name is Stephen Leslie. I'm here with Mr. Pedro Collins, who's the head coach of the University of the West Indies cricket team. To his immediate right is Mr. Tony Matwat, and to Mr. Matwat's immediate right is Mr. Prem Prasad. The face-to-face -face engagement as a cricket coach is really critical to the development. I know that you were very innovative during the course of the, the pandemic, where you know there were some online videos of coaching, some strength and conditioning um, programs that were actually built out here at the university. Can you tell me really the program, how it actually stands today? I know the University of the West Indies has been involved in cricket in Barbados now for just over a decade, has won many local division cups. Um, how many individuals do you have right now within the program once everything gets back to, to full motion? Well, we have about um, roughly 50, about 50 students at the, at the club now. Um, we have, we, we are a club now, so we have a few guys that are not actually in school, but 90% uh, of the team is, is made up of students. And the thing about um, the pandemic is we give guys the opportunity to play overseas. So we have a lot of players that actually played in England last year and that will be going back to join uh, some teams over there. But this is good for, the, for our cricket. Um, right now, I would say that uh, we have a few new recruits coming in, um, some excited players from the under 19. So I'm looking forward to working with those boys. Well, the facility looks fabulous. So you know that this is the facility in Barbados that has a lone indoor cricket school. We've got here at 3Ws over a, a magnificent field that's hosted for its last cricket game. Can you tell me how the maintenance of this facility has been in these tough times, certainly knowing that finance has been a challenge for most places? Yeah, to be honest, it's been a, a challenge. Um, obviously, um, we need funding and, you know, universities are a bit, you know, uh, cash strap. But, um, you know, we have done our part. The guys, the other girls staff, you know, we've been having meetings to help to get things done. Um, a maintenance plan is, is a big thing, you know, having a maintenance plan of the whole facility is a big thing. So, right now, guys are on track, um, you know, we just sand in the field, it has a few uh, uneven areas in the field, so we just got the sand, um, the field sanded. The pitches look pretty good, you know, they haven't played in a long time, so grass got to go through. Um, you know, pitches not my speciality, but I still learned a few things from some of the ground staff. Um, the indoor school just got um, a bit of a makeover, you know, put on some carpet, um, the roof have been changed, netting system have been, you know, picked down and put back up, uh, machines been serviced. So, you know, we just be ready, we will all stand by in case, you know, the BCA call the tournament, you know, we'll be ready to, to, to start. So going to Mr. Prasad, my final question would be managing the regional and Barbadian cricketers at this organization at the university. I think some people miss the fact that as a club, the University of West Indies has that unique group of Barbadian and Caribbean. other regional Caribbean um, students. How have you found that during your, your, your stay here as, as, as head coach? Um, it's, it's very good for um, cricket to get guys coming over from islands that um, that want to develop the game. Guys that actually started, like, um, you know, say like amateurs and then developed and they've gone on to play for the Sydney's and even for the island is amazing. Then, you could name, I mean, I know some names. <laughs> you, you, you got Charlie Watson, you got um, Powell, and yeah. um, you got young Kevin Hodge, um, you know. Rob Lopala, Carlos Bracket was his member up here. Jason Holman. Jason Holman. You know, they have a bunch of, I could name 15 of them right now. You know, there are a lot of them. And it's good that, you know, this this program could develop these players. And hopefully we, we continue to develop more players. And that, that's the aim. Obviously developing, you know, as they come, they go more coming. Just recycling all the time, you know. And for our Canadian viewers, could you tell us about your involvement into the coaching role from a West Indies, former West Indies test player and how that came about, what made you decide to go into coaching and then what steps, what's the process you went through to get where you are? Yeah, well, um, it started, you know, coming closer to the end of my career, you know, um, and my love for the game and then wanted to give back something. 
you know, I got involved in coaching um, with the combined schools here in Barbados. Um, I worked with Libby Puffin, um, he passed, you know, um, we did a lot of work together. Um, we even caught some of the guys, that, um, Shea Hope and, and, and those guys, um, Joe for Archer, he was part of the team at the time. And it, it was the closest of, of playing, actually playing, still playing, you know, you can come to. And I wanted to still be involved somewhere, somehow. And it was a it's a bit of a transition, you know, the stuff to, to just watch the guys not being out there with them. But um, you know, as I go went on, you know, realize how hot the sun did come, you know, became and I just wanted it was just happy to be around. And you were telling us earlier that you've actually had some Canadian exposure with the GT twenty. Yeah, um, I was the assistant coach for two years within um, uh, Vancouver Knights. Mm -hmm. um, the first year we, we won the tournament, the second year we came runners up. Right. But um, hopefully, you know, we'll inv get invited again down there if there's a, a third year for that. Believe it or not, youths, no matter whether they're Indian or Pakistani, where they come from, are in love with the West Indian batsmen, the style of playing cricket, and they would join those camps and come out. So it's good to hear you said you're willing to do that, and we're willing to. We pursue those types of venues when we get back home. And to me, it was great meeting you. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Well, thank you again. We've had the opportunity to speak with Mr. Pedro Collins here at the University of the West Indies, former West Indies test cricketer and now the head coach. And we would have had the opportunity to hear from Mr. Tony Matwat and Mr. Prem Prasad. My name is Stephen Leslie, and we just want to thank you for being part of our conversation today.